It's showing the internet. It's not connecting. Please, come on. Come on. Come on. Connect, 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 connect. What? No! Hello there! This used to be the largest silver mine in California. Back then down here, they had elevators, they had break rooms, they had air compressors, they had dynamite vaults, they had all sorts of things. But one thing they never had down in the mines was Wi-Fi. <laughs> Let's not get too excited. Let's not get too excited. Let's not get too excited. It's impossible not to get too excited. Welcome to Cerro Gordo, California. Right now, I am sitting in the Union Mine. This mine is what they attribute to helping build Los Angeles into what it is today. This mine attracted just a who's who of the American West to visit the town above me. And I've been living up in Cerro Gordo since March of 2020. And I feel like part of my job is just documenting the history here. And all of that research has led me to a point where a little more infrastructure down here in the mine would go a long ways. And there's about three, four, maybe five reasons why I think internet down in the mine would be good. First is communication. Right now, when I go down the mine, we have issues with our radios. So we get reduced to a flashlight system where a certain number of flashes means a certain thing. And obviously that's a little sketchy. You know, a better communication would go a long ways in going down in this mine. And so if we had internet at each of the levels, particularly down at the very bottom level, that would be huge. Second, our only water source in this entire town is 700 feet down the mine shaft and it just notoriously goes out. And so I'd love to have a camera on it to get a live feed so I can understand what's going on with our water source here. Third, I recently heard of a big piece of history here. You know, for the longest time it was understood that the main mine shaft went 900 feet down, then there was maybe a level or two below it. But after digging through some documents, we found out that there's actually five levels of this mine, this important mine that you know, help build Los Angeles. There's five levels that nobody ever talks about. We're talking miles of mine shaft below the 900 foot level that have not been explored by anybody living. And unfortunately, right now, all those five levels are behind a collapse. It takes about 45 minutes to get to the 900 foot level. So taking an elevator down 45 minutes, getting off, going to do a little bit of work on the collapse, getting back in, taking a 45 minute trip up, you just can't get that much work done in moving rock past a collapse. So if I could create a base camp of sorts, you know, an area where I could go down and spend days, weeks even, that would go a long ways. And finally, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be interesting. I think it'd be challenging. And I think those three reasons, you know, fun, interesting, challenging are a great trio uh, to do a lot of things. So with that, let's begin the journey of bringing Wi-Fi 900 feet underground into an abandoned mine. Helping us on this journey to get internet into the mine was Brian, who set up the entire network system that we have today. But before we could bring the internet in the mine, the first step was power. There hasn't been power down there since I first moved to town. And in order to do everything that we need to do with the internet, power had to go first. So my friend Craig and I spent an entire day going down the shaft, slowly stapling Romex all the way down 900 feet. Craig even put in outlets and a light at each level, which just felt surreal. After the power is in, the next step was to run coax cable all the way down the 900 feet. My friend Tim and I handled that part, and unfortunately as we were going down, the cable got caught around a cage and broke. I assumed I could just splice the cable together, but on my third trip down, that proved not to be the case. The splice seemed to interrupt the power, so it was time to get more coax and make a fourth trip down the mine. So, internet for the mine. Yes. Cerro Gordo gets its internet from a tower over on the hill below the salt tram road. This radio will be mounted on the side of the hoist house here and it will connect that tower. This will be connected down to a box in the hoist house where we're going to have a coax ethernet adapter. So it takes that signal, turns it into a coax signal and then the coax cable Brent ran goes 900 feet down to the bottom and then a receiver on the other end, right here, picks that up along with power and powers an access point to get internet. So that's the basis of it. And it should be endlessly extensible. Amazing. So it's fully mesh. You can just extend in as much as you want. Sweet. So when we find those lower levels, I'll just keep bringing the internet down. 
It's looking amazing. Look at that. I were up here in the hoist and internet has now arrived to the collar of the shaft. We're getting pretty good times. You look at that, we're getting 35 or so down. And so now the test will be to take it from that box the rest of the way down and see how we do down there. All right, now we are headed down, taking this internet work. Goodbye, ground level. Hello, mine shaft. Whew, it is cold today. All right, I'm near the bottom now. It's about to be the moment of truth. As you can see, I got my box. So we're gonna hook up all that type of stuff now. Give you a look at how far we got to go. All right, and we are back at the 900 foot level. We're somewhere where this space really soon is gonna become a very nice room, base camp, luxury hotel room. As you can see, element everywhere I go. But right now we need to get this coax cable, <clears throat> which should be mostly done over as far as we can, really. And then this, well, actually, then we'll get it. All right, so to walk you through again what's happening, this coax cable is going all the way up to the hoist. So this is 900 feet above us. And this connects into a box similar to this, where there is one of these. And the coax cable goes into this. It then goes into Ethernet which goes over a receiver on our hoist, which is getting the Wi-Fi from a different receiver on the other hill, which is getting its signal from down in Keeler, which is getting its signal from Lone Pine. Let's see if it can happen, but for right now, I am gonna get to work making our internet. There's the end right there, it says 1,000 feet. So first thing first, this coax, needs to go back into this so we can get it into ethernet. So we're gonna cut the coax. Boom, we're gonna take our little wire shipper. We got this, that goes into there. Then we get our crimper. Now we have this, our coax, which is going to go into our handy dandy thing here. Now this, get some of the ethernet cable. This, so it should broadcast the signal back to Wi-Fi in theory. And all this is pulling its power from the coax, so it doesn't need to be powered. I need to tell the guys to turn it on upstairs, and hopefully we get a signal on this, and we get a signal on this. I am so excited, and I was also so nervous, because there's a lot of work. Now let's go back and tell the guys up top to turn on the power. Hopefully, lights start showing in this. Shortly thereafter, that's power. And then we'll have internet all the way down here. Can you guys hear me? We can turn the power back on to the internet up there. Well, first time. Doesn't seem like we're getting any coax all the way down here. Receiver should be lighting up and I don't think that means somewhere between here and the top, the cable wasn't getting it all the way down here. So, no internet yet. Very sad. I'm bringing both these things back up with, along with a tiny little piece of coax. And what I'm gonna do is connect this to the connector up there. And if this whole system works, then we can isolate that it is the coax that's running down the shaft, that's the issue. If it is the coax that's going down the shaft, I need to go buy another 900 foot of coax. And we'll try this again, but it's all about eliminating possibilities. So I'm headed back up top and the desire to have internet at the 900 foot level will have to remain for at least one more day. And so this is the coax that's going down and it's currently plugged in here, as you can see. So if we take this out and undo this, and now what we're gonna try to do is plug in this. And if this plugs in and this works, then we know it's something with the coax between here all right, so that is connected. And then now suddenly this is fully powered and this is powered. So that means that this that's running 900 feet down, the shaft is broken somewhere. So that means 
I gotta get 900 feet and more coax and run it back down. But at least I know that the system itself is designed correctly. It works. It's just a matter of getting the new coax down there. This project is now going on weeks when I was hoping that it would just be a couple days, but we will get internet down there. I'm sure of it. So stay tuned, get some more coax, give this another shot. All right, so I cut off a little bit of the new cable, tested it with all greens here. We got all greens on this. So I'm gonna unattach that, get this going. And this should be broadcasting, yeah, Wi-Fi. It's looking good up here. So fingers crossed that this brings us internet down there. All right, as you can see, the spool is undoing. We're going down. Oh, look, a GoPro. I don't even think this is mine. Yeah, maybe it's mine, but I don't remember buying a handle like this. Oh, maybe this is when I was rappelling down. That's hilarious. Well, I'll just check out that footage later. It's such a change. I remember the first time coming down here we didn't have lights, we didn't have power, we definitely didn't have internet, we didn't even have like a communication system down. We didn't even have the cage be able to go past some of these levels because it would get stuck because of the guide rails. So, making progress. All right, huge moment. I am now at the 900 foot level of the Union Mine. The school still only has about, I don't know, close to 100 feet left. There's the level we need to get it to. On the top of the cage, it's gonna take up some maneuvering to get this down. There's the other stuff we need for the internet. So a lot of trips down here, they're not quick trips. So fingers crossed, this, this is the time. Let's do this. All right, looks good. Whew, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. This. Now into here, tightened on. Now this should be connected up top. I gotta tell them to turn it on up there and then we might have internet. <laughs> so good. Please, please, please. It's blue on the router, which should be good. It's showing the internet, it's not connecting. Please, come on, come on, come on, come on. Connect, 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 connect. Uh, it's seeing the signal down here. Come on, come on, baby. Come on. What just happened? What? No! No, my sig mine went away, the one that I usually use. Ah, uh, come on. No. Now it's blinking like it's not good. Does it seem to be standing up or something? All right, so still nothing. So I tried to add this additional power source. So that way the radio has more power to broadcast that signal. And that made the coax link go green, but now it doesn't look like any power is getting to that, unfortunately. And so I need to figure out how to get that powered up to be able to broadcast that signal out. So still no luck so far. Because every time that I reset it, it seems like it has a moment where it wants to go, but I think maybe we're just losing too much power between the 900 foot drop with the coax. Right now, nothing. All right, let's see if we can get this with a new battery on. Boom. All right, let's see, go like this. Big moment, big moment. Well, that's me. We are at the 400, which means there's 500 feet of feet of so I really dropped it while recording. Which means we're more than halfway, Bob. So, only 400 feet to go. It's a difficult 400 feet. But that is the 400 level. Yeah, this is me. That is a very good sight to see for me. So all this footage we lost from all the video I put out. This is a workout. 400 feet to go. <laughs> Did I drop it right now? I must have dropped it right after recording that clip. That's funny. That was the first clip I filmed of that day. So if nothing else, got a GoPro 10 back. Pretty sweet. That's a win. 
But the real one would be getting the internet going on down here. All right, the day's getting late, but we're going back down again. I think this is the fifth or sixth total time, but this time I think we got what we need. We got a powered radio for the bottom, we got the power source, and I think this is it. Goodbye, world. All right, we are almost back again to the 900 with this, and this should get enough power to go. If not, if not, then our whole system is wrong. So fingers crossed, we're gonna plug this in, we're gonna turn it on, we're gonna have internet, we're gonna do a Skype call, I'm gonna go live on Instagram. That's the hope. Plug it in and go. If not, it's back to the drawing board after a couple months of trying. Big moment. Going down and uh, <laughs> let's hope for the best. Power. Does this show power? That's step one. Or step zero, I don't know what it is, step something. Now, we go over and reconnect some of the stuff that I left down here before. Boom, got it going good so far. Now this goes in here. We should get a light on the side of this. That does not appear to be getting power. Why? Oh, look at that. Oh, ho! it's connected. All right, let's not get too excited. Let's not get too excited. Let's not get too excited. It's impossible not to get too excited. Oh my God. Oh my God. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, please, 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 please. Yes! Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, we have freaking 48, 49. Ha! Oh my God. 44 down. Woo! <laughs> Finally, mother. You know, we got internet down at 900 level. We got internet down at 900 level. We got, <laughs> yes! Only a few months in the works, but let's do another speed test. What do we got this time? Come on. Come on. Come on with it. Woo! Oh yeah, baby. We got fast intranet down here. Dude, that's faster than my house. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. 37 down. Whoa, we got internet. What should we do first? Should we call something? Should we do something? Should we just go crazy? Yes! God, that took a long time. First, I'm gonna call Steven, our, uh, our manager that's been running me down the hoist over and over again. What do you know? It's working, huh? It's working. It was just the power, it seems. It's got 38 megabytes per second up and down. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Just thought I'd let you know. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to go live on Instagram. I've never gone live on Instagram in my life. Let's give it a shot. Hello there. We got the internet down at the 900 foot level. Never been live before on Instagram. What's up, everybody? Wow, that's what's people coming in. So what should I do? What should I do underneath the... What should I do down here? Should we invite some streamers or something? <laughs> this was about a month and a half in the works. Yeah, Minecraft in the mine. Who should play Minecraft in the mine? I'll show you guys the hoist. I don't know if I've seen before, but this is how you get down to the 900 foot level. Look, I always actually do have a living element always there in the house. Again, 900 feet underground, we did it. Woohoo! That is it. I am 900 feet underground and my Wi Fi is here. I got internet, we got power, we got lights to think. A couple years ago, we were using flashlights and flash signals to signify what's going on down here. Now we have communications reliably to the surface. I think it's going to be huge for a couple reasons. First, there's actually five more levels below this that nobody living has been into. And I can only imagine what type of history is down there, what type of artifacts, what type of lessons can be learned by trying to get down there. And unfortunately, those levels are behind some collapses. And so the ability to stay down here for a longer period of time is gonna give us the ability to stay down here for days at a time. I think this is gonna be key to getting us into those five lower levels. Other than that, I think it provides a lot more safety in these expeditions down here. I can communicate comfortably, easily with the outside world up there. There's part of me that's a little sad. You know, this used to be a nice place where nobody could reach me. I could just be out of touch. Um, and now I'm making 
live stream calls down here. But overall, an exciting day, a historic day in some ways, and something that I'm just having a blast doing. So I think you guys follow along on this. You know, this room is also gonna become a luxury hotel suite here in the next couple months. Stay tuned for that. Now that I have internet down here, I could, hell, I could live down here if I wanted to. So the future of Cerro Gordo is bright. And we're gonna keep doing things like this to kind of introduce new technology into old and try to use that to better understand the past and preserve the past for the future. With that, thank you guys so much for checking this out. As always, thanks for the support for this town. I can't wait to see you guys next time. And with that, I'll leave my internet home behind. I'll be back. <laughs>